Okay, this episode is about uh, a fairly new thing called PayPal here. Um, chip and swipe reader, okay. Um, this is the gizmo where you put credit cards in. It can uh, take the magnetic uh, cards or the newer chip cards, okay. The chip card... You stick it in here on the lower uh, slot. <clears throat> and the magnetic ones, you go across the top. So, you know, the instructions were wrong. I mean, <laughs> you know, you would think they would get something as simple as that. But you can see it says chip carts. Uh, insert card firmly. Chip side first into the top of the reader. Okay. And that's not... Correct, okay. You put it into the lower one, okay. And then it says magnetic stripe cards. Swipe the card across the top of the reader again, okay. That's true, but the chip card you put in sideways, like you see there, and you put it into the bottom of the reader. So their instructions are wrong right from the factory, okay. Now this gizmo was only about 25 bucks okay and what you have to do is you go to PayPal and you have to open up a merchant account okay if you just have a regular PayPal account you gotta uh, open up a merchant account they don't charge you for that you get somebody at PayPal they'll run you through everything they'll switch you over from your regular account like I've had for many many years to a, a merchant account like I said, it's not going to cost you extra um, to have that. And they'll also send you uh, um, a card so you can uh, withdraw money and stuff. The, bo the bottom line is if you're, if you're traveling, this thing is really handy. Uh, if you have a business and you're taking payments, you can accept all types of payments, uh, credit card payments. I'm trying to see where, where it tells you all the different types. Um, you can accept PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, Discover Card, and I would think that's American Express. Okay, I don't have my glasses on here. Okay, so I don't accept all of them, and it's really nice and small and handy. So if you're out on the road like me, I'm boondock camping, and I do... Um, uh, solar installations for people um, so this is comes in really handy if people don't have a, their checkbook handy or, or they're out of state or you don't want to accept out-of-state checks uh, they don't have the cash um, you know uh, they you can just swipe a credit card with this gizmo here like I say uh, I got mine at Staples for 25 bucks but I believe PayPal gives them out for free. Okay, now what it's running off of is your Bluetooth on your on your smartphone. Okay, so this is syncing with the smartphone, which I can't really show you because I'm I'm filming this on a smartphone. Okay, so you just make sure that your Bluetooth is on on the smartphone, and as soon as you turn this on little button on the side here it will sync uh, with your with your phone now you also uh, want to download on your phone uh, an app called PayPal here and um, this is you know they call this a chip and swipe reader so the magnetic stripe cards the older ones will work or the newer uh, chip cards okay so you download that app, you open it up, and all of a sudden, uh, your smartphone will, after you've turned this on, it will sense this device. And then it's pretty explanatory, uh, you know, what comes up on the screen on your smartphone will tell you, you know, it's a charge, how much is the, uh, the amount of the charge that you're charging your customer. Um, you can give it a, a name, like with me, I'm doing solar systems for people out in the middle of nowhere. Now, this system, 
I was told improperly by the the guy that uh, at PayPal who um, signed me up and changed me over to a merchant account. He said I needed to be uh, near a Wi-Fi signal um, and or I had to call up Verizon. I have Verizon smartphone. He said I have to if I'm not near a Wi-Fi, like in the town or something where there's a Wi-Fi at a McDonald's or whatever, that I had to sign up with my Verizon uh, phone service and get a mobile hotspot, which costs a lot of money. I mean, I've had them in the past. I don't right now. So this is why I can tell you he's totally wrong. I don't have a mobile hotspot. And I'm out in the desert here in Arizona, or I should say California, Southern California. Um, I have no Wi-Fi signal here. Um, now, I, what I think I'm, I'm getting is, you know, because my phone works, as long as your phone is getting a, a phone signal, this should work. If you can also get onto the internet. Now, typically that means you have to be within four or five miles of a radio tower. So, but you do not need to pay extra on your phone's plan for a mobile hotspot. You just got to most likely be within four or five miles of a radio tower, which would mean you you your phone your smartphone will connect to the internet as long as you're connect, you can connect to the internet this thing will work for payments credit card payments okay so uh their instruction manual was wrong and the their the guy that signed me up at paypal was wrong uh that's why i'm putting this video out okay uh, hopefully this will help you. The PayPal here, accepting credit cards. Okay. Um, see what else. Power button on on this uh, PayPal. Uh, you got to hold it down for like five seconds for it to turn off. Uh, and it's got a couple of flashing lights, and it'll tell you uh, if you're synced with your phone or not. It'll, it'll be flashing blue, and then when you're synced with your uh, smartphone, and this gizmo will work for credit cards, it'll turn, the blue light uh, will turn over to a solid light instead of a blinking light. But, you know, it, it tells you that in the instructions. But just realize the chip cards, it's the lower slot, and you put it in this way versus the upper slot for the magnetic cards go, you swipe across the top slot so their instructions are wrong uh get with it paypal i mean you were talking to, this is your instruction manual very simple little thing that came with the, in the box and it's totally wrong and so are your representatives uh saying people need mobile hotspots or they got to be near a wi-fi signal they don't i'm nowhere near any wi-fi there's there's a military base about five, four or five miles from here, and I think that's where I'm getting my um, uh, internet signal from their uh, tower. So um, now you can go to, there's a lot of how-tos on uh, YouTube, and here they're talking about go to paypal.com, chip and swipe. Uh and they have a how-to video called Getting Started with the PayPal here Chip and Swipe Reader, credit card reader. Um, but, I, you know, there's also some good ones on YouTube. But they're all leaving out important things like, do you need a mobile hotspot on your phone? Do you, do you need to be near a Wi-Fi signal? Uh, no. It, it, all the videos I've seen, nobody's talking about that. So, anyway, it was a little frustrating getting everything... I came close to actually spending an extra 30 bucks a month on my Verizon to get the um, the mobile hotspot. And luckily I played around with this thing and the uh, downloaded the app and didn't listen to the guy at PayPal who, who told me I needed those two, either, either or one of those um, things, you know, the Wi-Fi or the mobile hotspot on my phone, which would have cost me, just for 25 megabytes, it would have cost me an extra 30 bucks a month. 
So hopefully uh, you'll see this video. If you need to, to accept credit cards with your business, you can be out in the middle of nowhere, uh, you know, to a certain extent. You know, if you're within, I would say, four or five miles of a radio tower, this thing should work. Just check your phone, see if you can get onto the internet. <clears throat> um, if you're not getting any phone signal, this is not going to work. If you're getting a phone signal, but you're not getting internet access, I would think, and I haven't seen anybody, you know, in the instructions or the people at PayPal be able to explain this. Yeah, if you're getting a phone signal, but you can't get onto the internet, I, I'm not sure if this thing works. Like I say, uh, I, I talked to a guy, he seemed to know what he was talking about, and he didn't at PayPal. So, anyway, uh, hope, hopefully you like this episode, found it useful. Uh, this is Eagle Eric signing off.